Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Uh, today we're testing uh, 4K or Ultra HD, whichever uh, nomenclature you like to use, uh, resolutions for two very popular cameras, the Arri Amira and the Red Epic Dragon. The Amira just recently got its 4K upgrade, allowing it to record in, in 4K or Ultra HD resolutions. And so that's kind of why we wanted to start this test. Uh, we wanted to see 4K and Ultra HD is becoming a really popular finishing format for a lot of uh, producers and filmmakers. And so we wanted to see how two very popular cameras kind of approach 4K. Uh, now in setting up this test, we uh, did our best to try to make everything identical on the two cameras. Uh, we, used, we used a Airy Ultra Prime uh, 50 millimeter uh, lens set to a 5.6. Uh, both cameras were set to ISO 800. On the Airy Amira, we were using a Log C look profile, which is Aries, very low contrast, um, uh, raw type of look. On the Dragon, we were shooting uh, red log film and uh, red uh, and dragon color too. Um, uh, so, that, so that's why the images that you're gonna look at are having very kind of low contrast, flat, not the prettiest of images, but that's actually a good thing. It's showing off the, the raw capabilities of both of these cameras. And then the, the red camera is set at 6K, and, uh, 6K, and we're gonna down res that in red cine after we shoot our tests uh, to the 3.8K, which is the th Ultra HD uh, res resolution. Um, and then the Amira camera is set to uh, 3.8K. But the interesting little note about the Amira camera is that the sensor inside the Arri Amira is the exact same sensor that's in Arri um, Air Alexa cameras, including like the new Alexa SXTs and the Alexa Minis. They all use the same exact sensor. And the resolution, the native resolution of that sensor is actually only 3.2K. So there's some fancy math going on inside the camera bodies of the Arri cameras that's uh, up resing from the 3.2K native resolution to get this 3.8K uh, final resolution, and that's all happening in the camera. One thing to keep in mind is that resolution is always really cool to talk about and it's really important and it's a big selling point of many cameras, but it's not the only thing that makes a camera great. Both these cameras are very capable in their own ways. They each have their own uh, positives and negatives. Resolution is not the end all and be all deciding factor between them, but it is something that's fun to look at. Um, so take a look at these tests and uh, we'll leave it to you to judge uh, or to make your own conclusions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.